Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, and you know what that means. It is time for another episode of Model Mondays. Today's video is inspired by a suggestion that I got over on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure to do so. I'll put my handle up here. Ping! Today I'm going to be going through some of my old modeling photos and I'm going to be telling you the stories behind those photos. As I was making this video I realized like oh my gosh there's always something interesting to say about every single photo so maybe this will be a new series on my channel I don't know. But with that said let's get right into the video. What? So we're just gonna jump straight into the video starting with this photo here. So this photo shoot was for Beats, the headphones, social media. And basically the photographer wanted to capture the sunrise at the top of this mountain in Los Angeles. So for this shoot, I had to wake up at like 4 a.m. to be at the location by 4.30 to do the hike, which was like an hour to then shoot the photos at the top of the mountain which by the way this shot I'm stretching or whatever so pretty easy but we were doing running shots and jumping and sprinting up the mountain and it was just intense and so early in the morning so that's the story behind this lovely shot all right next is this one and this was an editorial that I shot in Los Angeles and guys I'm just gonna preface this by saying I would never in a million trillion years do this now, but these photos were taken after I had gone out to the club and partied and stayed up all night long and basically went directly from the party, after party, whatever, to this photo shoot, which is so unprofessional and horrible, and I can't believe that I did that, but the photos still turned out great. It got published in a magazine, and again, I would never ever do that now. I am a professional model. I take my job very seriously, so that was just me being a young, stupid teenager. All right, so for this photo, this was actually on a video shoot for one of my favorite makeup artists in Seattle, Katya. She's wonderful. Um, we were just shooting some content for her site, I think. Um, the video is still on YouTube, so maybe I'll link it if I can find it. We were just trying to show her hair and makeup skills. So we shot this whole video and I guess both of our faults, but I feel so bad about this. I had a hair tie on my wrist the entire video. So she still used it, I think, but you always have to look out for that as a model or makeup artist or whoever. But I just felt so bad that we did the whole video with my hair tie on my wrist, which you can see clearly in the video. So, okay, this next one is with Jason Derulo. As you can see, it was on America's Next Top Model. The reason I'm putting this in the video is because Jason Derulo, I love his music. I love him on TikTok. He seems like a great guy, but for the shoot, I don't know, maybe he was tired or something. He just wasn't like giving a lot. So in the beginning, I was like interacting with him and kind of like putting my arms around him or sitting on his lap or, you know, just interacting with the guy. And I just wasn't getting a lot of response out of him, I guess. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do something better. And I just decided to kind of pretend like he wasn't there. I know that sounds horrible, but I just did my own thing and he happens to be in the shot with me. I think I'm gonna make a whole other video about the behind the scenes from my America's Next Top Model model shoot so stay tuned for that video all right next photo this shot here was from my first photo shoot ever I was 16 years old and this photo in particular I just found it so funny because I wanted to post it on my Instagram and my mom told me I couldn't because it was too provocative which I just find hilarious now like on America's Next Top Model I had to shoot nude and I've done some like obviously not overly sexual that's just not really my brand but I've done a lot more shoots that are more suggestive or sexy than this one but I think it was just like the look in my eyes at 16 years old my mom thought it was too provocative so I wasn't allowed to post that one on my Instagram okay so this shot was on the cover of a bridal magazine obviously kind of cool but the reason I'm putting this in the video is because I have been married like 
25 times in my modeling career. I don't know why. I guess I look like a bride or something. I'm not sure, but I always book bridal shoots. And this one in particular was so fun. We were at a farm for the photo shoot and there was a donkey and chickens and goats on set. It was so much fun. Yeah, so anyways, been married so many times. It was pretty funny. For a while, you could walk into any supermarket in Seattle and see my face on one of the bridal magazines in the store. It was crazy. So this is a photo shoot with Courtney from America's Next Top Model and this was so fun because Courtney came to stay with my family for like a week while America's Next Top Model was filming and it was kind of sad because she was there staying with us on the week that she got eliminated but it was good to be there with her for that and just have the support of my whole family and yeah pretty cool my family actually knows Courtney on a very personal level because they got to meet her and she stayed with us for a while so yeah while she was there we just had to do a photo shoot with one of my favorite photographers, Andrew Parsons, so that's that. All right, so this photo was from an editorial that I shot in Greece. We drove out to the middle of absolutely nowhere and we're like hiking into this forest. Meanwhile, I'm with a bunch of people I don't know. They all speak Greek and no English and it was really hard to communicate. We were in this weird environment. So we did the shoot and once I got the photos back, I was so disappointed because my body was edited so much in these photos. I'm gonna try to find some other ones. I'll put them here if I find them. But you can tell like my legs and my arm were just stretched and thinned so extremely that they don't even look like body parts anymore. All right, this photo was taken by one of my favorite photographers in Seattle. I love him, Rohan, he's awesome. But it was so funny because he printed out a giant like four foot tall metal print of this photo and gave it to me and I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. But like, what do I do with this massive photo of myself? And I couldn't even like roll it up or anything because it's literally metal, like a sheet of hard metal. So I decided to give it to my family and they displayed it on our mantle in our living room for years. It looked like a memorial for my death or something. It's like we have all of our family photos sitting there and like photos of my siblings and then this huge one of my face in black and white. I don't know, it was weird quite the conversation starter. Okay, this was kind of cool because it's a really nice photo, I love it and all, but it wasn't really supposed to be a photo shoot. I was actually supposed to be like a fake model for this news segment. So basically the clothing brand was a new one in Seattle and they contacted the news because they wanted to be shared on the Seattle news. So they were talking about the brand and where they come from and the materials and all that stuff. And then they wanted to show like a little clip of them at a photo shoot for the clothing brand. And that's where I came in. So the photographer was like, fake shooting me for a news segment, but we ended up getting this photo and I kind of like it. Okay, this is a photo of me and Binta from America's Next Top Model. And fun fact, Binta and I knew each other before America's Next Top Model. We were signed with the same mother agency in Seattle, SMG. And it was really cool because we always had each other's backs because we were both from Seattle and we were just like there for each other, which is cute and special and all that. But this photo was immediately after the show. We both went into the agency because we wanted to say hi and be like, hi, yes, we were both on America's Next Top Model. And so one of the guys at the agency, Macklin, took us outside to take some photos and it was really fun. That was literally immediately after the show. My hair was still purple, but you can't really tell in this photo. All right, so that wraps up this video. I think I'm gonna make a part two to this because there are so many fun stories to my photos I'm realizing. And like I said, I might even make one that's just about my America's Next Top Model photos. So if you're interested in that, let me know below. And yeah, make sure to like this video, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I will see you on Thursday for another video. Bye y'all.